In today's video, we're going to be checking out a battery tester. So if you ever had problems with your battery in your vehicle, you know how frustrating it is not knowing exactly what's going on in the battery or, you know, other parts or components of the vehicle. This tool here will help you determine if it is the battery and if it needs to be replaced. So this one's made by a company called Top Down and it's the BT100 model. So it's intended for a 12 volt electrical system. So on the back here, we got a little more information of what it does. So we have a good, a bad, and a charge. So it's rated up to 100 amps. So yeah, it looks like it has quite a few features and checks for quite a few things. So here's the testing range here. So, all right, so let's pull it out of its package. It does come with a pretty nice thick instruction manual. It does have quite a few languages in there. Very nice manual, it explains everything and how to use it. And here we have the tester itself and it's a really nice size. It fits in your hand very nicely. Looks like it has about a three foot reach. So this is what the back looks like and there's actually no batteries in this thing. It powers itself from when you clamp it on to the battery. And these are the clamps so they're quite nice and heavy duty. So there's like a nice rubber grip. So yeah, it feels quite quality and it looks like it should last for a while. And if you notice, there's like little teeth in there. I like that detail, so that really grips onto the terminals. So let's go ahead and pull the screen protector off. So yeah, aesthetically, this thing's quite pleasing. All right, so for the next part, let's go ahead and see if we can try this thing out. So I got a few cars, and we're going to go ahead and check the batteries and see what they're looking like. And the first car we'll start off is this Toyota Prius, which is kind of an unusual test because it has a small battery that it doesn't use it to crank the vehicle, but just more run as an accessories. And the battery goes located here in the back, and you can see it's, but this will be an interesting test here. Positive leave on the positive, and the negative is way in there. So as I do that, this thing turns on. And we can see we got the logo there in the front. It says battery tester and the voltage of the battery on the bottom. So let's go ahead and click enter. And now we have a menu to choose from. So we can do a few tests. We can do just a regular battery test, a cranking test, a charging test, and a review data. And we also can choose a language. All right, so let's just do a regular battery test for now. So we're gonna click enter. Now it's gonna ask us what kind of battery this is. So because this battery is on the inside, I'm pretty sure it's not a regular flooded battery. I think it's a AGM flat plate. So we're gonna go down and select that. Click enter. And now it's asking for our cranking amps or cold cranking amps, which usually says on the battery. You guys can't really see but right under that 555 it says 450 so we're gonna set it to 450 so here you can actually choose different kind of things you want to test for so we got CCA cold cranking apps and then we can get just regular cranking apps BCI MCA so all these things I guess could be tested and that's interesting and we're just gonna go with that press enter okay so now we can adjust it so let's go to 450 and that's what our battery says and we'll click enter okay and now it's testing all right, so that was quite quick actually. And here we have the results. So the battery health is 100%. The charge rate at this point is 49%. So it looks like it is a little low. And for that reason, I think it's because it's been sitting a little bit. That's why. And it shows us the voltage of 12.29 volts. And the next thing it shows us is eternal resistance, which is 6.58 milliohms. So it determined that our battery actually has 452 CCA. Yeah, we can see that this is quite a healthy battery here. So it says the battery is good, but it does need a charge. And I'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle. And then we're going to go back here and click on charging test kind of ripple test okay so it says increase the rpm i guess we can't really do that in this car but it is running right now so let's see what it does okay so it says charging low now for this vehicle you know this is a hybrid battery setup so it doesn't probably need a lot of power so, so it is charging it just says low so maybe let's try again and see what happens Okay, so now it's normal. All right. So the way this battery charges, obviously, is from inverter. And so I guess the inverter wasn't on completely yet. But yeah, that's really cool that it shows you the charging rate. So it looks like we can also do a cranking test, but we will need another vehicle for that. Since this is a hybrid, it won't work for this car. But we're going to check that out in a second on another vehicle. Let's see what this review data is here. Okay, so this is just what our last battery test was. So if you want to go back and check that out. So yeah, and that's all the features that we got here. So quite simple and very cool to use. All right, so here we have a more normal vehicle. So this is a larger battery, obviously. And we can see our cold cranking amps is 810. So this battery is not too old. About looks like a little over a year. So let's go ahead and test this battery. So we're gonna put the black on the negative and the red on the positive. And you guys can kind of see what the meter looks like in sunlight here. So you can still see the display very well. So let's do a regular battery test here. Flooded battery, cranking amps, 810. And if you hold it, it goes quick. Enter and it's testing it. 
so this thing hasn't ran for a few days so we'll see how the battery looks like okay so it says good recharge so the health is 89 percent on this battery because the cold cranking amps turned out to be 762 instead of the rated 810 and there's our voltage 12.23 volts and the internal resistance is 3.9 million ohms all right so yeah this battery looks good also so let's go back and let's go ahead and do the cranking test so this is going to test our cranking capabilities so it says start engine i'm going to go inside and start it and here's our results. We have the time that it took to start. So I guess it is a little bit on the low. It went down all the way to 8.22 volts. So yeah, that's pretty neat how it shows you how long it took to start and the voltage that it dropped to. So let's go ahead and test the charging rate. Click enter. All right, it says here charging is normal. So this just tells us that this vehicle's charging system is working fine and it's charging the battery. So yeah guys, this thing is quite nice and unique for sure of what it can do. And if we want to review our data, we can go down to that and click enter. You can see here what we did earlier with the battery test. So yeah guys, as you can see, this is a very useful tool. And if you always want to know what your batteries and what state they're in and how healthy they are, this thing here will tell you that. And also the neat thing about this thing is that it can do different types of batteries. So no matter what you got, this thing can test it. If you're a person that deals with batteries a lot, or if you're like a small repair shop, this is a excellent tool for that. But in my opinion, if you own a car, you should definitely have one of these because sometimes it could be just a battery problem. And you start to think that maybe it's other issues with your vehicle when it could be simply just your battery needing replacement. So, so if if you want to get one of these for yourself i'm gonna have some links in the description check it out and if you enjoyed this video then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this and other things i do on this channel then stay tuned and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one